defend our Constitution as protesters. I want to welcome you all to the Washington, D.C. Tea Party. If things were different, you'd be at home celebrating our independence. But instead, you're here trying to preserve it. Yeah. 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 You followed your conscience. As Americans, and I'm thrilled to be in your company. I'm also proud of the lineup of speakers we have today. They will be discussing the vital need to preserve our Bill of Rights to preserve the separation of powers and to promote our need for a representative government to return to commerce, charity, and the individual their rights and responsibilities and reset government as honest brokers in regulation and oversight. Yeah. They said the revolution wouldn't be televised. Think again. Anyway, so the point is, ma'am, um, we got back 40 votes we shouldn't have gotten. By all accounts, that should have been a bloodbath. With the power of this executive branch coming down on them, 40 Democrats jumped ship and voted against cap and trade. And that shows you the power that this movement can have. We came very close. And you know something on health care, which is going to be the next great expansion of government power? We can do it. I want to hear you say that. We can do it. We can do it. $150 million that for all practical intents and purposes was taxpayer money to target 17 Republican senators that were up for re-election. The bill died. These are the toxic assets on the books of the banks sold all over the world by Fannie and Freddie. Barney Frank is still in Washington. A tenet of socialism had begun. The government trying to socially engineer where it did not belong, just like they are trying to do now, except exponentially ten times worse. The bombs out. Throw the bombs out. $12 trillion dollars worth of debt over the next 10 years is not a stimulus, it is an agenda. Never let a good crisis go to waste, says Hillary Clinton and Rahm Emanuel, and believe me, they haven't. They crammed over a thousand page bill down our throats in less than 11 hours that no one had time to read while they took off on their government paid jets and flew to Italy. The worst about the what I call transparency. $50 million to study a field mouse in San Francisco, $200 million for STD research, $4 billion to ACORN, $900 million to Hamas, $6 million for a turtle tunnel, paybacks to unions, paybacks to AIG by Christopher Dodd, extensions for unemployment instead of doing what they needed to do right then, right now, right then, right now. Slash taxes, Slash spending and no deficits. Yeah. They were too busy planning the takeover of our country, tripling the size of government. They want to control how much you make, what size home you own, how much energy you use to heat your home, what size car you drive, how much fuel you use, where you send your children to school, what liberal rewrite of history. Oh! year old daughters can get an abortion without your consent at taxpayers' expense, force you into a union with card check, what health care you are allowed, and I'm just getting started. <laughs> Most of this non-stimulus money will not be spent for two to three years to sign that way to insidiously give the economy a facelift just before the next election. <laughs> Many economists have come to the conclusion that we would have been better off if the government had given $30,000 to each and every taxpayer and let the people bolster the economy, not the government. Yeah. around with owned by China tattooed to the forehead. Woo!